Skitty Tube. It's kind of like that today. Hey, happy day. Woo! And of course, I am bringing you yet another Pokemon Go video. But of course, I'm not here by myself. I'm here with... Yeah, it's Tubbsy. It's Tubbsy and he back. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be his thing. So, <laughs> of course, in the last video that we posted, uh, which I think was the 18th, yeah, because... Because there wasn't really anything going on outside of Community Day, you know, Charmander Community Day yesterday, the 19th. Um, but whenever we got home, we were really tired and we freaking slept like crazy. Uh, well, let's, let's have some chat about the Community Day and how it went. Of course, people were really excited. They loved Charmander. It was, uh, if, as long as you evolved it before the event was over, it would end up getting the, the move. I almost said ability. <laughs> we all know that those aren't in the game, but it would end up getting the move Blast Burn. Uh, which is a really, really strong, a really nice fire move uh, for Charizard to have. But the biggest thing that was going to draw people to this event was going to be Shiny Charizard, getting their Shiny Charmanders up into a Shiny Charizard because it's freaking awesome. It's like black and it's so cool yeah, looking. Yeah, it looks really nice. Uh, so we were there a little bit early. Um, we were supposed to be meeting up with a few friends, but they had... Somebody had hair appointments! No, it was really funny. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that here in a bit. So we were actually there quite a bit earlier than our friends were. Uh, just, you know, looking around for Charmanders. It was a really, really hot day out. It was definitely in the 90s. Uh, for a little bit, right whenever we got out, it was kind of nice. The wind was blowing a little bit, so it wasn't all that hot. And of course, I forgot to put on sunscreen. And if y'all don't know, I'm like the pastiest, whitest person ever. I never go outside, pretty much, so it's yeah, not you're good You're starting for me. to get a tan. I'm starting to get somewhat of a farmer's tan, as you guys can see there. I already have my first shiny Charmander, and let me tell you guys something. I don't know what it is about Tubbsy. Last community day, uh, whenever he was driving up to the park, and I was controlling both phones, his account got a shiny Marie first. So for Charmander community day, within like two minutes, he freaking got his shiny Charmander. Yeah, now, I think it was like the second one that I encountered. If you'll notice uh, my phone time for anyone who's looking at that, it was like, because I'm in central time, so an hour and eight minutes into the event, I got my first shiny Charmander. Like, it took me an hour and eight minutes. I was I was starting to believe that they don't exist for me. They just don't happen. Mm -hmm. And my phone was like freaking out all kinds of bad on that day too. It was absolutely insane, but I was determined to get my shiny Charmander. I was so happy whenever I finally got him. And uh, you'll notice a few times throughout some of these clips that I continuously show you guys. I'm trying to do like a little catch glitch here. If you guys don't know how to do that, I can make like a little dedicated video. But it's pretty freaking easy. There's there's probably stuff out there, but we do it a different way than what we found. Uh, also found this little rare Cyndaquil here. Of course, I was kind of excited for the weather to be sunny outside because fire types were boosted, and you know the extra stardust definitely can't hurt or anything. So, ended up picking up this little guy while we were at it because we thought, why not? We were waiting on my friends. We kept getting in and out of the car, walking around. Sometimes we'd get in the car, turn on the AC for a bit. Just because you guys don't even realize, whenever the wind stopped blowing, oh my god, it was so hot. Yeah. Like, it was crazy. It wasn't as bad whenever we first got out there, but yeah. it got hotter and harder. Harder? <laughs> hotter, I'm <meant>, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, weather does not get hard. <laughs> it was hard. It was hard to bear. <laughs> but it's a really nice place that we go every single time Community Day pops up. I'm honestly really excited to see what the next Community Day Pokemon is. Hoping for Houndour, but it's not going to happen, you know. But we'll see. Uh, so there was a lot of stuff going on. Like I said, Tubbsy ended up, of course, being the first Pokemon. First Pokemon. I was going to say first Pokemon to get a shiny, but he was the first person out of us two to get a shiny. And, uh, a spoiler alert, he ended up getting more shinies than me <laughs> as well. It was insane. His luck was so stupid. I hate it. I hate him for that. I just don't think he can go to these community day events anymore because he's just going to keep making me mad getting all these shinies before I do. I think I ended up with, like, I want to say, like, four. Yeah, I ended up with four shiny Charmanders. And I think you ended up with, like, was it five or six? It was five. It was five. He ended up with five shiny Charmanders. So I guess in the end, he ended up with one more than me. But he ended up with it a lot earlier than I did. So I don't know. You found a bunch right at the very end. Yeah, at the very, very end. By that time, I was hanging out uh, with Laura, you know, Sweet Kicks 101, uh, and a few of our other friends, Ashley and Katie, and we were all, you know, looking. Laura got her hair done and everything. That's who... You know, I was making fun of uh, earlier on in the video, but 
Uh, she ended up getting her hair done. She got, I think everyone ended up getting a shiny Charmander. Maybe Katie didn't, but. Yeah, I don't think she did. But what was really cool was, you know, uh, one of the things I was mentioning in the previous video, you guys, I was saying how badly I wish that I had a Ho-Oh uh, that I wasn't really playing during those events. Well, it was almost as if later that day Niantic heard me. <laughs> Because, uh, now this was later that day after the video was up on the 18th, there was tweets coming out that ho -Oh was coming back until like June 7th or June 8th, I can't exactly remember which, but I was so freaking stoked about it, uh, so I was hoping that while we were at the park that a ho -Oh raid would pop, and funnily enough, also on this day, I finished my, I think it was my third or fourth research for Zapdos, um, so I started trying to take some AR plus shots because I want to start taking nice ones But it wasn't really Zapdos weather to take really nice AR plus photos But it's really cool to be able to like get up really close to them and get different angles and stuff So I got my little Zapdos here as well Which I don't know. I just really like that feature and have you guys gotten a good Zapdos yet? Because during this month and I was really excited for it to be Zapdos's turn uh I can only get strong Zapdos. Like, yeah, it's so bad. I want a really nice one. I'm not, I mean, perfect IV would obviously be ideal. Well, like, just a max attack one or something would be really cool. But so far, no luck. So, that's pretty much been my Zapdos luck so far. But he does look really cool in uh, AR. So, that's definitely really good. Got ourselves another shiny Charmander here. And uh, while we're on the topic of the whole community day thing, which is, you know, the main focus of the video anyways, whenever we're out doing raids and stuff, uh, we spoke about the age range of people. Again, this was another one of those things where you saw people of all ages, mainly people, it seemed, around our age. And uh, we ended up talking, or uh, an older lady approached us. I swear she was in her 80s, you guys. She had white hair and everything. Uh, and I think she was there, maybe with like her younger granddaughter. I think her granddaughter was definitely maybe like a teenager. But this like older woman was speaking with us and talking with us about like just going off about all this Pokemon Go stuff and it was just crazy. Like she was really knowledgeable and helping. She was helping us get into like better uh, Facebook groups for our area and stuff too. And of course, uh, we were talking about this raid, you know, again, we ended up doing a ho -Oh raid that day. Thank, thank Arceus that it ended up being a ho -Oh raid that did indeed pop. I was so excited. And uh, there was also a load of people there. I'll probably insert like a, a photo or something. You guys will probably see it here in a moment uh, of me, you know, showing you how many people were actually there. And um, it was so cool just to see that many people there uh, in our group whenever we raided, we ended up having a full group of 20, uh, and I was just so excited. I was hoping it would be shiny. It was my very first ho -Oh raid. Of course it wasn't, but he was weather boosted, which and again, I was super excited about. Uh, so whenever I was going to try to catch this one, usually I'll get frustrated and I'll, I'll get really worried and you know how lucky Tubbsy is. So I usually hand him the phone. Well, this time I didn't, I attempted to catch this ho -Oh all by myself. And I was so worried because, you know, we only ended up with like nine balls. I think the max you can end up was, that I've seen so far has been 13. There's probably more than that, but we ended up with nine ball, balls. Yeah, we ended up with nine balls for him because uh, I suck and I'm on Team Valor and I, I probably weighed the team down. I don't know, but I it turns out I actually didn't need as many balls as I thought I was going to need. I don't know what the catch rate of ho -Oh is, but guess what? I caught him! I caught him myself and I was so proud. Uh, unfortunately, for once, Tubbsy didn't get his Ho-Oh, uh, but I'm sure he'll definitely get one. I'm shooting to get a shiny one. I wonder which one of us will get a shiny first. I heard that shiny Lugia was a 100% catch rate, so hopefully it's the same thing with Ho-Oh. I'll probably have to do some research. It probably is. Didn't somebody in our raid get one? Yeah, yeah, there was at least one or two shiny Ho-Ohs. The last thing we ended up doing after the event was over, we saw another five star egg hatching. Of course, super sped because, you know, we didn't want to sit here for the whole round of us trying to take down Latias. Ah, Tubsy's phone froze and freaking just had it out uh, during this time. And I was like, oh no, because uh, if you guys didn't know, he has. At, well, right before this raid, he had never caught a Latios yet. He had been trying, but had had no luck. And it was the complete opposite way for me with Latios. He had so many Latios caught before I caught one. Uh, so 
Anyways, he's over there reboot. Like, I think he had to just reboot Pokemon Go. It let him back in, which was awesome. I was so happy about that. And uh, again, a full raid of 20. And it was so funny because we're not used to people being like, yeah, we're Team Instinct, get over here so they can make their own private groups. So I was like, yeah, we're Team Valor, and we have like maybe five or six people in Valor. <laughs> so we ended up all together in this group, but luckily for us, there was a decent amount of Valor people there. How many balls did we end up, even end up with? We ended up with 10 oh, balls, yeah. which is not bad. Uh, so again, I was just trying to catch this, but I was like, eh, I already got a few Latiases. I want a really good one. I, I don't know what it is. I'm not used to some of these Pokemon that are really far away are so frustrating. I got to start gauging their distance better and that's going to come with time. Uh, but I ended up catching mine and in fact, our whole group actually ended up catching theirs too, which I thought was really cool seeing as it's actually very difficult to catch. Um, I've had other people tweet me saying that they haven't even been able to do legendary raids yet and I honestly can just recommend as much, again, as much as I hate Facebook, try to find a Facebook group for your area, try to get in the little Facebook messenger uh, with your group and make call outs as to where legendary raids are spawning or watch for other people to make call outs and then if you have like three people with you put like plus three that you're gonna be there and then meet up with them and then, you know, get your stuff done because we live in a really, really small town. Um, not where we're actually going for community day or anything, but we live in a really small town and uh, we have to use the Facebook groups in order to get those raids done unless we're out on community day, you know, and there happens to be like a really cool raid popping that's super easy to get to. So that's definitely my recommendation. And do you have any, any thoughts on community day? Any thoughts with anything that went down? No. I mean, Facebook groups. Yeah. They really do help. They're very important. Yeah. Oh, and did you guys get any good shiny Charmanders? All of my shiny Charmanders, the best one I got was like a strong one. That's pretty much it though. Yeah. And, Mine were all decent. And, um, yeah, so obviously this is our second Pokemon Go video. If you guys have any recommendations as to what you'd like to see, like people are, are recommending vlogs and stuff, we'll we'll see about that kind of kind of things. We do have some ideas. We're going to probably bring back some Pokemon Let's Plays and everything. Uh, definitely don't hesitate to give us any sort of recommendations down in the comment section below. And then the last thing that I want to talk about is I'm going to try to stream on Twitch almost every single day around 5 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Mountain, 7 p.m. Central, and 8 p.m. Eastern start time. I don't really have an end time right now. And right now we're streaming like a variety of stuff, but later on in other videos you guys might see like a little schedule at the end. So keep an eye out for that. Links, as always, are going to be down in the description. And I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!